what it is YouTube, Mr. Jake, we back uh, today. We got a sneaker pickup video, so this ain't even really, honestly, when I looked at this, so this has been over like the last, it's probably been since like, since quarantine, right? So about March, April, I didn't know I bought this many shoes since April. But I mean, honestly, I ain't had nothing to do. I was out of work for like, I didn't go to work for like three months sitting on eBay. Well, I'm, I'm always, if you know me, I'm always on eBay looking for a steal. If there's certain shoes I want, I'm gonna get them eventually. It don't matter how long it take, I'm gonna get them. So yeah, I guess everything just matched up. So, so sneaker pickup video. Before we get into this, it's actually one, two, three, four, five shoes. It might be a little bit more than that, actually. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure when I got other pair of shoes, but I'm not gonna include. This is what I know I bought since like April. And this is all off eBay. So people like, like I said, people like to talk junk about eBay. People like to be like, they scared of eBay, that's fine. Keep sleeping on it, I appreciate you. So that's more for me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so we're gonna get right into it. First shoe. Now, another thing, I don't know if you've seen my, if you've seen my sneak collection video. These aren't including that, obviously. But if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put a little card right here and there. So go ahead and click that. Um, there's actually two parts of that, so watch that. Then come back to this. But before we get into that, go ahead and um, like this video. Um, actually, don't have to like it if you want to. That's fine too, just dislike if you want to too. That's fine, either one is good with me, you know? And subscribe too, so let's get it. Now, the first, you can, you can see the box, okay? Box is pretty beat up. Oh, you don't buy the box. Some people care. I do care about the box, but this box is from 2012, so I can't really blame for the box being so jacked up, you know. Especially these orange Nike boxes. These junk, I don't know why Nike and these boxes so darn on cheap, bro. They bad. Bro. This junk is it's bad. Whatever. But you know, it's like my. This is one of my. If you know me, oh man, I already showed the shoe. Dang it. Here you go, man. It's the, it's the, Hold on, I gotta move the camera, hold on. All right, look, so that's the KD4 on Pearl. If you don't know, KD's aunt, her name wasn't actually Pearl, I don't think. They, her nickname was on Pearl. Uh, she actually died of breast cancer, so that's why you see the shoes all pink. Anyway, that's why you see the shoes all pink. Uh, Pearl here, obviously. Um, she can see this. Hopefully it'll zoom on, it'll catch that. If you can't see the writing there, as he says, in memory of Aunt Pearl who inspired us all to fight for a cure. And she died from breast cancer, so that's common sense. That's obviously. Uh, the tongue, you know you got the, come on, the breast cancer logo. As you do like on the tips of these, probably can't see that though. But on the, hold on. You can't see, but anyway, it's a white lace tip on the aglet. Ooh, shout out Phineas and Fur for that word. But anyway, on the aglet, it has um, Pearl Ashley on the aglet. So this is honestly probably like my last KD that I needed. This is my last KD4 that I needed probably. I can't get the nurse. The nurse is probably like $900. So yeah, this is probably like the last one. I got the scoring titles, couldn't get the nurse. The nurse is probably the last one I want forever. You know me, I'm a big Kevin Durant fan while I was. Not so much no more. But y'all gonna put some respect on his name too. Y'all ain't gonna keep playing like he ain't win his championship. He ran. It don't matter. It don't matter. He's a walking bucket. And no heel drag. Slight creasing on the back here, but you can't complain. I actually got these for 170. So, and if you know, this is a, this is a this is a about 300 dollar shoe in good condition. So when I see it, that's what takes me so long. When I see the shoe, I search it. I go. I save my search and check it every day. So. When it still pop up, I'm on it. Anyways, next, this is another shoe I've been looking at for a long time. So I got that for 107 if I ain't say that. These, you know, I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I like, I obviously isn't from Norfolk. I like, obviously, obviously from Newport News. But I like, obviously into the whole 757 area. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know 757, even if you ain't in the 757. Allen Iverson's kind of like, you know, that that guy. You know, he's just the guy we all like, the guy we all look kind of looked up to whenever. The guy we was all a fan of, man. 
So you know, no, no further questions. It's the rebound question. This is actually the come on, come on, Kobe. It's actually the 2012 edition. Yes, 2012 edition. So I have the hold on. I'm embarrassing how dirty my pair is, but so I already had this one. I already had the blue one. You know, I already had the blue. This joint tight, dirty. So I've been looking for the red for a while, and I finally found them. You know, bottom still icy. So icy. Bottom still icy. We got no creasing. We got all white inner. You know, we we in good shape, man. This is just one of them shoes. Like you, you had to have it. Honestly, I'm not gonna be one of them head asses, though. I won't be a head ass and do this. I won't. Whoa, whoa. I, might. I lied. I lied. I might. I might have to bust this out for the one time. I might bust that out one time. I'm not sure. But if you don't know, they actually made a question like this, so it was mixed back. They came together, basically came like this. So I might bust that out for the one time. Yeah, and I actually got these for, they're actually pretty dope. Hold on, you yeah, that price. 100, stop sleeping, no box though. I can't trip over that. You don't believe me? You know, I didn't forget it, that's too much focus on, but just know I got these for 100, okay? Both of them clean. And I only get shoes that's clean, bro. I'm not buying nobody's junk. People be like, how you found nice shoes on your baby? Be patient. Patience is a virtue, baby. You can't log up there and just get you a, a clean shoe for a steal. No, 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 no. You gotta know the game. You know what I mean? It's an art to this thing. Got the... I'm gonna put on that. Hold on. Man, I might say it was high shoes. It's actually one of them. Oh, so. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with it. Well, you can tell by now, if you already seen other videos, all my Nike basketball stuff. I'm obsessed with the Nike basketball. You know, Nike basketball fell off a whole lot. We got um, 20 to 2012 All-Stars collection I'm trying to complete, man. And this is a rare one that a lot of people probably don't even know was part of the 2012 All-Star collection. I really need to find the Kobe's and I was about to pull the trigger on the All-Star, the 2012 All-Star Kobe 7. It was probably got down like 220. So I was like, I right, bet we're gonna be in business. And he died, and of course, everything skyrocketed. RIP the GOAT, man. Second GOAT, Jordan first. But you know, RIP my guy Cole, man, for real. Um, Yeah, but boom. This is the Blake Griffin 2012 All Star. Focus, focus. And the shoe, if you can't, this shoe is just, it's a shoe that a lot of people didn't even really know. So, this is a hyper dunk, but. It came in the regular box, but it's a, uh, my fault, it's a 2011. I said 2012, I was saying it's a 2011, I was saying. So, if you can see on the hill here, you know when Blake Griffin was just jumping out the gym, BG32, this is actually when he jumped over the Kia. If he jumped over the Kia, this is when the Kia Optima first came back out, okay? Kia been slacking, but they came out with that Optima when they were smoking the game with that Kia Optima, man. Blake Griffin. Roll that kid out with almost certain the clip. And you know, he did the thing. He jumped over the hood, but it won't really much. He could have did better than that. But we're gonna let him slide though. I'm not sure if we won it yet, I don't remember. But yeah, so if you know for that year everything was galaxy themed. So that's obviously why you have the midsole looking like this with the crackle. I hope it focuses on that. Focus on that. Focus on that. You don't want to focus on the galaxy. There you go. There you go. So if you see the, the print, so everything that year was galaxy themed. The LeBrons are also orange from that year. The tongue is a regular tongue. The insole, hyperdunk, crackle. It's nothing, it's nothing major, but I just feel like it was nice. The 3M on this junk is stupid. Oh, uh, I insert the pick. Yeah, the three of them is crazy on this. That's one of my favorite things. I think every pair from this year has some three of them on it. If you don't know, I just feel like this was necessary to complete the, the, the all-star set from that year, man. So now I just got the Kobe left. And I had to hop on these because these are rare fine, especially in good condition. They still smell brand new. That's the crazy man. I got these for... Let me see. 111. Can't complain. Next, we're moving on to, and this shoe originally came out, I wanna say like 10 or 11, correct me if I'm wrong, whatever. Y'all don't know no better. 
You might. Some of y'all might. Most of y'all don't. But anyway, 2010 11. This is the shoe. This shoe had people. The shoe had people trading their cars in, man. People were going nuts. People was trading their Honda Civic. She was going for thousands of dollars. And it was just the high. It was just like the pinnacle of the sneaker. What are you fucking? I call the sneaker culture, I guess. I don't know. But so this is the box. You did. So, and of course that shoe is the Galaxy phone. Now I don't have the Gal. I couldn't get the Galaxy phone. The I had to settle for the rookie. Why I had to settle for the rookie? Because I'm not dropping couple thousand on some shoes bro that's just not happening i'm just not happening i can't see that i can't let myself go all sad like that i don't even spend i don't even now i spent 300 before on shoes but i don't even spend i don't even spend over like 250 i don't i don't even like paying over retail i'm cute but if i'm paying retail it's probably like i go 30 over retail and that's for a shoe that i got to have like got to have it but this shoe is basically dead stock man so it's not the Galaxy phone, it's a Galaxy phone rookie. So they actually released this pair. I want to say in 13 with the glow pods. Didn't get that pair, obviously. This is the pair that released from 2018. Of course, you have your, your flight tag. If you don't know, if you don't know, this is this is Velcro. Pretty sure that glows in the dark. Of course, you got the pink, the symbol. They say phone positive. You ain't got them. Then you penny loafing. And just, just know we ain't penny loafing over here. Of course, okay. I actually love this tag though, bro. Like, y'all know it says remove before flight. You can tell. I just put it through there because that's that's what you gotta do with it. You know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta show your tag off. Also back here, on here it says remove before flight. We still got that in there. You know, so stupid icy. This shoe was basically dead style when I got it. And I actually did pay a little bit for this one because the retail was 220 so I actually got this for 240 So like I said, I paid $20 over, $20 more than retail for basically a dead stock shoe from two, three years ago. I ain't gonna complain. Um, and the thing is, you base the shoe off what you see, what it's selling for on eBay already. You don't go for what it's listed for on eBay. You go look at what it's selling for. Okay, that's just a little tip. Y'all catch that later. But also the sole is going dark. You know what I mean? Yes. So, Galaxy Phone Rookie. Can't go wrong with it. Stupid ice. And the last one. This baby here. I don't like what Nike... I do not like Nike is doing this retro to Nike basketball, but... Because they're doing a lot with the Kobe 5s. They're doing a lot. I don't like it. I do not like it. I like the OG, I like the originals. If you ain't got them, you just ain't got them. You gotta do a little better in life and you gotta try to get them, okay? That's how I feel. But they came back out with this baby here, man. It's a LeBron 7 Retro. If you don't know, they've been retro on the LeBron 7s a lot this year. So they started off with that media day, that purple and gold thing, 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 thing. Boom, I'm just gonna throw this in there. That LeBron 7 MVP, man. Ooh, she so, she so. Focus, focus. Yes, yes. Do you see that? This shoe, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I didn't know how beautiful this shoe was until I put it in my hand. See the bottom, the glitter sole, the carpet here. The MVP is stitched, stitched up. The gold here, the carpet through there, it's just, the go hold on, get that focus back. The gold LeBron stamp here, witness. You know the other ones say history. You know how it goes, man. I mean the shoe. I didn't think this shoe. Oh, let's see that. Shoe was like ten times more. I knew the shoe was, was fat. I just had to have it, honestly. One for the color. Um, just look at the bottle. Just let, just let that marinate. Just let this sizzle in your spirit. Just let that marinate like neck bone. But anyway, like I was, oh, the, the, oh, I ain't even show y'all this. I ain't even show y'all this. I can put their foot in this one. You know, you got the stamp in there. The stamp say. Oh, I ain't even show y'all the best part. It's the years in there, 08, 09 on that one. This one say, 
Nine, ten on that one. Nike really did their thing with this one, man. So this originally released, I want to say, I have another, this is a sample I got. I didn't get this now, this is one I had. This is actually from, might not have a year on it because this is a sample. But this pair actually did release. Okay, this is from, this is a sample pair of the one that I actually released in 09 that I have. So this shoe actually came out in 09. But this retro, I had to do it, man. Um, Just for the history, like I said, now I collect shoes more for for like the story and literally for collecting. I don't even wear shoes, but I wear steel toes on the week. My steel toes hella comfortable though. My steel toes hella comfortable. Um, but yeah, I wear those. I barely ever even wear my shoes. I wear the shoes on the weekend. If I wear them during the week, I'm mostly wearing some beaters and then some dumb. Really collecting them for, I would say I'm getting my son one. I'm not, I wouldn't get my son my shoes, no. Cause they not gonna cherish them. They not gonna feel the pain I felt trying to get these shoes. The the the, the, the patient, they, they gonna wear them, they gonna scuff them up. They ain't gonna know what this means. They not gonna know what this shoes mean, man. So it's just for me, man. It's just a hobby I have, I guess. Sneakers do go up in value, so as long as you don't, long as you don't get your shoe beat it half to death, you'll be able to sell it if you want to later on. I'm not really into reselling. Well, I do resell some pairs. But stuff like this, I'm not gonna resell this. I actually got this for less than retail. So came out for what did it come out for? What did it come out for? Two hundred dog. I got it for. Hold on. I got it for two hundred on eBay. So that's less than retail technically, cause tax, you know, would have been probably like two thirty here in Virginia. So I got this for less than retail, and I don't know why that. You can see this the little LJ seven. You probably didn't see that. He got the air bubble. They don't know, man. This shoe just beautiful. The burgundy. They just did their thing on this one. Shout out Nike. Man. Of course, you got the L and the J right here too. You see that? But that's it. So, like I said, like or dislike, that's fine with me. Whichever one. I'm just asking you to do one of them. Either one of them help. But subscribe for more. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen my sneak collection videos, two parts there, go check that out. I'm gonna leave another card right here and I'll probably put it in this video. Anyway, it's your boy, Mr. G. Appreciate you for watching. Go check out some more videos and I'm out.